welcome. I'm Jess Kentmans with Guided by Equus, and I'm here with your Horse Wisdom Energy Forecast for the week of April 20th. Behind me I have Daisy, who is due to foal within the next month or so. And I just came out here this afternoon and just enjoying the fact that the sun has finally decided to shine here in southern Alberta and the horses are all just standing, soaking it up. Um, and it just feels like finally we've got to somewhere at some point where we can maybe begin to relax a little bit because we have been forced to, um, maybe not forced is the right word, but it feels like that idea of surrendering. Um, we haven't been able to control the, um, well, really much of anything in our lives along with the weather. And so in not being able to feel a sense of any sort of control, we really had to just um, let go and move with what is. And um, Daisy is a really good example with this. Kind of with my relationship with her and what's interesting to me is that I find now that because I've um, the word precaution is coming um, and so if I kind of equate it to what's going on for us right now that we've um, we've been in precaution in our lives um, around something that actually we can't be in precaution with anymore. We just have to um, move with the element of it. And so what I mean by that is that um, through the last couple months, I've actually taken the time to find a new way to approach Daisy. Um, and I've noticed that with some of the other horses, um, that sometimes we we don't really feel into the space and how something else wants to relate to us. We just kind of go and do it. It almost becomes an automatic thing or we're set on um, an, maybe an end goal or an end result. And so we move through this space without really paying attention to it. And what Daisy, what she's sharing kind of with the wisdom of this week in particular is that we're having, having had to surrender to all of the things in our life um, this week, we're actually having to sit back almost on our haunches kind of and take a deep breath and just notice um, notice how we approach things that we maybe didn't really take the time to pay attention to how they needed to be approached in our life. Um, and so with that, I'm getting almost the sense of a feeling of guilt or regret or remorse. Um, and that... Well, that might rise up within your experience this week. There's an underlying invitation in that um, that you can always course correct. And if this week is your course correction for being able to be more sensitive with how you approach whatever whatever element this is in your life, whatever subject this is, um, that there's no there's no harm done and there's no wrong way to do this. And this horse right here, Summer, at the end of the fence and facing the opposite direction um, which is actually east so the idea of new beginnings she's one that's been really easy to um, to grow up with and to start and yet I've realized that because of just her being so adaptable and easy um, I don't want to say that we've missed a couple steps but there are certain things that she is starting to um, block or use as a way to um, have us move into a more, a greater space of awareness of how we're approaching um, some things that we do with her. And so if I bring it back to Daisy, which I just did before I started this video, that I've actually made leaps and bounds with Daisy and I probably myself could do more with Daisy right now, who I still can't even halter, but I've taken the time to really be honoring and respective of what she's telling me and without wanting to push any limits or boundaries so she doesn't have to move into protection mode, um, I surrender so she doesn't have to, I guess is the best way. And with Summer, because Summer, she came to Calgary Stampede with me when she was only 10 days old, a 10 day old foal. I was riding her mom and Summer came along with me and willingly agreed to do a whole bunch of um, equine demos. 
and she she's just always been a very um, upfront and personable mare but there's things that are showing up in her world that are inviting us to take a step back and retreat and find a greater awareness as to how to um, be in relationship with that part of her and so that's what I guess it feels like just kind of to bring us full circle is that there's this piece this week that is an element of some sort of relationship within your life that is wanting you to take a step back maybe you have surrendered maybe you are still in that process um, so you can find some sort of greater awareness that is tapped into a deep and more intimate sensitivity to be in relationship with that thing this week and so just taking a deep breath on that and i'll share some right here with you too um, and it, so it's really actually tuning into um, a more aligned space to listen to how So what needs to be part of um, what needs you to be part of it in a way that isn't isn't pushing the gate um, and that is actually retreating so that this thing can come and find you and if you just take a moment and I'm feeling a really deep connection to um, actually right below my heart so kind of that that space of where the your And now, even though I couldn't get words to that, that space has kind of shifted. It was... So, sometimes we want to push back. This is interesting how this is all unfolding. Sometimes we want to push back into something um, because we know that we can do something a certain way. But that certain way doesn't want you to work like that anymore because that certain way actually isn't working. And Summer's licking and chewing on that. Um, that certain way wants you to develop a new way to be with both, not even, maybe it's with yourself, but it's actually to be with this thing because it's teaching you how to, um, how to listen deeper, how to feel into a more, um, a more inviting relationship with whatever this is in your life. Um, in a way that we don't we don't have to protect ourselves as well as whatever we're in relationship with doesn't have to protect itself by trying to um, pretend that this is working because it it actually is no longer working it's breaking down and daisy's yawning on that and it's having you kind of forge ahead without thinking and so it's really just calling for a greater awareness of whatever this piece is this element for you that, um, that wants you to approach it in a more vulnerable, a more intimate, a more authentic way. And that means first retreating and surrendering so that you can actually feel the invitation from that space, from whoever or whatever that thing is that, uh, that is trying to have you redirect from from a more grounded and authentic sense of you in relationship with it. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and it feels like there's one more piece to this this week. Um, right, we can't actually take steps forward until we have discovered how to be in relationship this way with whatever this is for you. So this is really deep soul work that could feel like everything that you've been doing has all of a sudden come undone but it's come undone because it it wasn't really done up in the first place it wasn't really um, it wasn't really a strong connection a strong link in in your chain that you are using that's really metaphorical but um and so it's wanting to create a feedback loop or a link that 
that works, that is connected, that is in tune with who you are in association to what this piece is in your life. So I really hope that makes sense for you. And if you need support um, or insight or, or guidance around what that is for you, even if you don't know what it is, that um, the horses and I can help you tap into that in a way that gives you clarity and gives you confidence with what you need to do, how you need to retreat and surrender so that you can find um, this invitation to be in a better relationship. So much love for myself and the horses. And until next week, much love to you guys.